Welcome back, Nail Crew. So recently on Instagram, I asked you guys to help me fill my pottle. And so today I'm taking all of you guys' suggestions and we are gonna fill this pottle together. So keep watching so you can see what fun things we come up with. All right, here we go. I'm so, what I'm gonna say? Y'all know what I'm gonna say. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Look at this pottle, guys. Like, you have total freedom to do what you want, make what you want, just create, create, create. And when it's empty, clean it out, refill it, reuse it. I mean, it's total freedom and creativity. And that's what we all love. Like, all of us nail girls, we're doing this because we love the freedom of creativity. And so, this pottle just helps you to achieve that. So I'm going to show you guys just the entire package because I think it's just super, super cute. And here is the black one. So I don't know if you guys remember me filling this pottle in one of the previous videos. I will definitely link it below if you did not catch that. But since I play with the black one in that video, I am going to open and play with the white one in this one. Let me just open this package. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she put her foot, her heart, her soul into this thing. And I saw someone on Instagram with about 12 of these things, <laughs> with 12 bottles, and they were just kind of together, kind of like this, I only have two, but they were together. And they just look so cute on the nail station, like so rich and posh. So I might have to get more you know, once I start to build up a clientele and if they want like custom blends and things like that, I could get a bunch and just have my station look, you know, kind of fancy, kind of fancy. All right, so in the last video, I did show you that it came with this glass stirring tool and I think that is super cool. And then on the inside are the shaker beads and we're definitely gonna need these shaker beads because what I'm about to create has a potential to get clumpy at the bottom because Nail Crew, you guys have asked for glitter and glow powder and like bright colors and it's just gonna be a whole bunch of stuff hopping into this pottle. So let's just hop right onto the Instagram suggestion. So the first question I asked was, should I add glow powder? And of course, majority of you said yes, of course. So here we go, this is my glow powder. And a link will be in the description as always, guys. It will be linked in my Amazon storefront. Click the storefront, go to the nail art section, okay? So these will be in the nail art section. And what I'm showing you here is that it says sky blue, but clearly it's white. And then this one says blue green. So I don't know, maybe when it glows, it glows those colors, but clearly, it's not showing those colors now, so I find that quite odd, quite, quite odd. And then here in this little container, these are just some that I had previously opened, and obviously I didn't want them to spill all over the place, so I just store them in this little container. So these are all the colors that we have to work with, guys. These are all the colors we have to work with. I don't wanna pick the pink or the orange because I've used them before. And I'm kind of leaning towards this green for some reason. It's just caught my eye and I just feel like that's what we need to do today. So I'm just gonna clean everything up and now I have to find some green polish to match with my green glow powder. So luckily for me, I have some bright green because 59% of you want to see something bright. So here we go. I have some very old dollar store green polish and i hope that it's not lumpy or clumpy because this is the only bright green that i have that i'm willing to use and then here is some ice glitter because 71 percent of you guys said duh duh add that glitter duh so the name of this glitter is spit fire and i think i got it from walmart all of the materials that i'm using today are old and probably clumpy the green one is called energy um we're just gonna see what happens and i might as well show you guys the green up close i'm like showing you guys everything else so here is what i'm gonna use i know that glitter is good because i've used that recently the green i don't know but it only costs a dollar so mm, we'll see and then i have some unicorn glitter i also got from the dollar store for one dollar so i'm going to mix it and make like you know, my own special glitter blend. 
so let me show you guys the name of this one it is called unicorn sparkle and again i got this right from the dollar store for uno dolores did i say that right oh my god i hope i did one dollar people one dollar and this is a super cheap project so far all my polishes are from the dollar store i think the ice one came from walmart now this clear one clearly it's old like you could tell this bottle is old but it looks like it's full and brand new mm -mm, mm -mm. what happened was i had a bunch of clear polishes that were just like quarter full or almost empty and things like that so i just filled up all my old polishes in this one bottle why did i do that i like i don't know I don't know, but I did. It was a long time ago. Let's just not even dwell on the past, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up my bottle with 13 different clear polishes because that's what's in that bottle. And let's go now in with the glitter. And there's no special formula, people. You just gotta eyeball it. You know when you're cooking, you don't really measure out all the seasoning. You just throw it in the pot. So that's what we're doing. Throw it in the pottle and let's just see what happens. <laughs> you can't really mess it up. You can't mess it up. You know what I'm saying? Especially using old stuff. Like if you really jack this up, like let's think about it. If you jacked it up, dollar store polishes, you won't really cry. You know what I mean? So Okay, that's what we're doing. We're just experimenting. And so far it looks really good. It looks it looks green, it looks bright, and there's glitter, like you guys requested. So now let's go in with the glow powder. I don't know how much to put. I don't know if this is enough or what, but we'll see. Cross your fingers right now, right now that it's going to glow in the end, because if it doesn't glow in the end, then I don't know, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be sad. Just we, if it doesn't glow at the end, then you won't be watching this video. So let me just tell you that now. If it glows, that means you're watching the video. Period. <laughs> All right. So let's put those shaker beads to work and let's shake, 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 shake. And hopefully some magic is happening in the puddle. And let's look. Let's look. I mean, it looks like regular polish. What I don't want is like a jelly polish. I want it to be opaque. I do not want to see through this polish. So I'm going to test it on Nala. And if it's not opaque enough for me, uh, we're just going to have to figure something out, Nail Crew. We're just going to have to figure something out. So let me know what you guys think. Is this too translucent? Yeah. Yeah. It kind of is. All righty. All right, here we go. So what I'm going to do now is add some white. Again, dollar store, super old. Let me try to focus the name for you guys evermore, right? Straight from the dollar store. So again, if I mess up, I'm about to wash this bottle right on out, clean her up nice and pretty, and we're just going to start all over. So <laughs> just going to pour some white in and again, put those shaker beads to work. And we're just going to shake up the bottle and see what happens. <laughs> Hopefully something good is happening inside this bottle right now because I don't want to start all over. I don't want to. All right, now let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it's opaque. It looks. So adding the white took away some of the brightness, but it made it more opaque. So that's good. And again, this is only one coat. So we'll see when I add another coat because I don't want to add any more white and like make it a pastel because you guys asked for bright. So I'm going to give you bright. OK, so I don't want to add any more white. Let's just see where we're going to go with this. So that was the first coat. And now I'm going in with the second coat and it did brighten it up. Okay, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at all. It's actually looking pretty good. It still looks a, a tad pastel because of the white. But then again, it's still bright. What do you guys think? Is this bright? Is this bright for you guys now, crew? Like I aim to please, y'all. I aim to please. I think it's bright enough. All right, so while those dry... I am going to cut out some stickers. Hey, I just got these. I got them for like the Prime Day or whatever. I ordered them on Prime Day. I ordered a bunch of stuff on Prime Day. Oh my gosh, my poor wallet. So I went with this one because in her tongue rainbow, it's bright colors. 
okay they're bright and there's green so I picked this one because it was green and her nails are green so it'll match so I'm putting the sticker or applique or whatever this is in some water just to separate it from the backing so that's just regular plain tap water and I had some tweezers to help me take it out and now I'm gonna go in with some glue so same glue that I use all the time Basically, it's the resin or the base to my dip kits. I tell you guys, I have like eight of these. <laughs> and I use it for everything. I use it to glue my tips. I use it for my dip powder. And now I'm using it for my little sticker decal thingy majiggy. And pretty much that's it. Glue that thing down. If you don't have glue or you're allergic to glue, you could definitely get away with sticking this down with gel polish or regular gel or maybe even a dollop of poly gel. Like, you know whatever floats your boat just get it stuck on the nail and now I'm going in with my cheap plastic bling I know they're cheap I know they're not real but they're so pretty they're so pretty so I don't care that they're fake and I'm gonna go in with just some random here and there's just some random here and there's and again I'm using my resin to glue down my bling if this was a real person I I don't like to use resin to glue down bling on a real person. Will I do it? Yes. Have I done it? Yes. But it's not my preferred method of holding on bling. You know I like my bling gel. I make my own bling gel. I will link that video below so that you guys can watch it. Um, resin does get the job done, especially because it's so thick. It does get the job done. It's just not my personal favorite way to hold bling down. So I'm going in right now with green, obviously, because that's the theme of the day. And then just some yellow because yellow goes with green and I don't know, I think they're cute. I just think it looks good together, you know? So far, the nail art, the design is coming together. I don't have a set plan in mind because I never do. I kind of just go with the flow and I think it's cute. So now that all the bling is in place and I'm happy, I'm going to take my top coat from Princess Nails by Diana. Hi, Princess D. I hope you're watching. I'm using your top coat. Say hi to me in the comment section. <laughs> so I really do like this top coat. I can't even fret. It's creamy, it's nice and thick. So far, everyone that has done a review on her polished collection has really liked all the colors and has really liked the top coat so thumbs up to you diana i hope you're watching all right guys so let's go ahead and put the nails into the lamp let's cure them i'm so curious to see if they're gonna glow this is what they look like right out of the oven right so super cute so they're bright they have a little bit of glitter in it you have to look close to see the glitter but it's there and amazing a a a a brap 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 what are you doing i'm, I'm editing that out <laughs> <laughs> I told my viewers that you say I'm a weirdo all the time, and they said, don't let anyone tell you or make you feel down. Are you, Are you serious? A little, so yeah. they want to say, a little Do different. Do they not see the side of it? it? It's because you'd be cutting the weird stuff out. <laughs> so, Mara says I always cut out the weird stuff, and that's kind of true. So, I'm going to leave that last clip in there. Oh, my gosh. I can just imagine what you guys are gonna say. Don't roast me. I know I'm a weirdo. I know I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Don't roast me in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and follow the Pottle on Instagram. Tell her I sent you. Bye, guys.